I wouldn't be surprised if we know the identity of the leaker for the test footage before Deadpool 3 even sees the light of day. So Deadpool 3 is quite possibly one of the most highly anticipated comic book sequels that fans have been clamoring to see. And the big reason behind this is that now that Deadpool is seemingly in the MCU, the possibilities for his inclusion are almost endless. But even despite of its immense potential, there seems to be a lot of behind the scenes bullshit and a clear clash between many parties. And while information surrounding Deadpool 3 are scarce at best, there are plenty of conflicting stories, reports, and even ideas. To the point where it makes you wonder, what the fuck is even going on? Now no doubt that this video might be messy at points, but that's mainly because of how messy the entire situation is, as well as the many conflicting and contradiction reports and statements. Now first and foremost, as soon as the whole acquisition between Disney and Fox completely finalised, Bob Iger did confirm that Deadpool would remain as a rated R franchise. And since then, even that statement has gone into questioning as there have been many contradictions from other people, which is something that I'm just going to go over in a little while. Because firstly, I do want to touch upon certain other aspects about Deadpool 3, as I do feel like the whole rated R PG-13 debate does come kind of fall in line to the overall conclusion and what I think the main problem stems from. But before we even begin, I want to completely disregard Rob Liefeld's claims in that there are apparently zero plans for Deadpool 3 because out of everyone here, he's probably the least involved in that project. Now, thus far, the only thing that we do know is completely true is that Ryan Reynolds is still attached to Deadpool 3, and that much is an absolute certainty. But even he seemingly doesn't know what's going on with Deadpool 3 at the moment, and while he does claim that everything is on hold at the moment because of the pandemic, I do feel like there's a lot more at play here. Case in point, the supposed plan for Deadpool in the MCU is that they are trying to completely reinvent the character in such a drastic way, such as tweaking his origin story as well as set in Deadpool 3 a few years before present day MCU, and even going so far as to completely change or replace Deadpool's supporting cast. And this is somewhat further evident in that current reports do suggest that Morana Baccarin will no longer be Vanessa for Deadpool 3 as much as she does express interest into reprising the role. And the same could be said about TJ Miller as Disney have been considering on replacing him entirely due to some serious accusations. And these are only just a few examples on the overall misdirection for Deadpool 3. And this is kind of the reoccurring theme for this movie and why it's taken them so long to even get this off the ground. Because the biggest problem that Deadpool 3 currently faces is actually a power play. And mind you, this is only just speculations on my end, but this is just a rough conclusion that I thought of in my mind when looking back on all of the evidence that I've gathered thus far. Because by the looks of things, it seems like there is a current power struggle between Ryan Reynolds and Kevin Feige. Because as some reports suggest, Kevin Feige is trying to make Deadpool 3 PG-13. While Ryan Reynolds has been very vocal with the stance that Deadpool 3 should be rated R, as well as stating that now should be a good time for Marvel Studios to completely change the formula and consider doing rated R movies. And to me, this is a pretty plausible explanation because it has been kind kind of revealed recently that Kevin Feige is a bit of a control freak with the Marvel properties. And by no means am I trying to slander the guy or disregard his achievements, but when it comes down to Marvel properties and projects that he himself never had a hand on, he tends to disregard them. The best examples being the Netflix shows as well as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And if there's a property that he himself wasn't involved in, then he wouldn't want to look at them unless he has full creative control and that he can completely reinvent said property. Hence why it seems like there could be a good possibility in that Kevin Feige is the reason behind Deadpool 3 not happening anytime soon. While Ryan Reynolds, who is seemingly instrumental in Deadpool's creation, is very much against the direction that Kevin Feige is trying to go. And while some may say that this is all Disney's doing, I very much doubt that this is the case because as Bob Iger did claim, he does want Deadpool to remain as an R-rated franchise. And while Disney does in fact own Marvel Studios, Marvel Studios is still its own thing, and that Kevin Feige does have complete control of all the Marvel properties including Deadpool. 
Now, I'm not claiming that I know the ins and outs of Deadpool 3's development, because to be fair, we don't know exactly everything that's going on with the project as of yet. I do feel fairly confident enough in that the reason on as to why Deadpool 3 hasn't even made it yet is just the overall direction for the film being lost in translation, or more specifically, Kevin Feige's reluctance into actually taking a risk and to break that established formula that he so made. And at the end of the day, I just want a real solid conclusion to the Deadpool trilogy. But by making it more like a traditional MCU film is just going to completely tarnish what made Deadpool so great to begin with. And believe me, I would love to see Deadpool interact with the other characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but there are better ways of going about it as opposed to just completely water him down. And if Once Upon a Deadpool was anything to go by, a PG-13 Deadpool just does not work, unless he is just a supporting character and that they allow Deadpool to take the piss out of the limitations of a PG-13 label. But if they were to make Deadpool 3 and completely strip Raid Wilson from everything that made him interesting to begin with, such as his vulgar sense of humour as well as the over-the-top violence, he's just going to be a shell of his former self. But out of all of this, I just want Deadpool 3 to be something very special and have the creators have their control. So even despite of the behind the scenes bullshit, are you still remotely excited for Deadpool 3? And which direction would you rather take Wade Wilson? Would you rather have him maintain the grit that he's known for, or would you rather him be a lot more like the MCU characters? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care and have a good one.